Hello viewers, you're welcome to this telecast. I'm happy to be with you again. I have started a teaching on perversion and I said perversion is anything that is um, different from the original purpose for which God created that thing, e.g. sexual act. Some of all those things that God created for us is for our good, but the devil in most cases comes in to pervert it lies to the people and makes them to begin to go against the uh, normal way of doing it you know it's usually used to describe sexual behaviors that are considered particularly abnormal and repulsive but you must also know that anything can be perverted like i said though in most cases it is used for sexual uh, behavior that is abnormal and repulsive and so I want to begin to talk on those things that will characterize perversion. Those things that you will see or see people do or you see yourself do that will make you know that this is not normal. This is not how it's supposed to be. And so you begin to consciously work on changing it and ask God to help you. And one of those things is um, when you are prone to viewing naked people, that is what gives you uh, a kick. That is what makes you feel good. You want to view naked people or you want to view people that engage in sex. That brings me to pornography. You find a lot of people who are into pornography. They can't do without it. They just, that is all they want to do. Even in the work environment, you see some people go into the internet when they're supposed to be working and all they're watching is porno because that area of their life have been perverted. Then sadism is a form of per perversion. When you take joy in making people unhappy, angry, you, 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 you want to just do things the abnormal way, that is sadism. You just take joy in other people's pain when you are like that then you've got to watch it then when you also want to violate people you 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 are happier when you when you want to have sex with someone with force and that is a form of rape some will say oh rape is not actually a uh, perversion but it is to an extent it is you know, so when all you want to do is to forcefully take advantage of people and violate them, then it's a form of perversion that makes you a rapist. So a rapist is a pervert because that is not the normal way. It's supposed to come naturally. But if that is all you do to have sex, then there is a problem. Then when you are a child molester, you want to take advantage of children. They can't leave children with you without you fumbling with their private parts, their bodies. Some go as far as having sex with little children. That is perversion because that is extreme. That is not the way God actually made it to be. That is abnormal. So when you are prone to taking advantage of children, to molest them, to have sexual act with them or fumble with their bodies then there there is a form of perversion there then when you are a polygamist how do i mean you just want to go from one woman to another or from one man to another not one man satisfies you you take joy in marrying and remarrying you were once with mr a now you're with Mr. B and you're already opting out for Mr. C because you tend to see everything good in the next one and you don't see anything good in the present one. Same thing with the men who also are prone to marrying women here and there. There are some women, there are some men, any town they get to, they, they marry there. To them, that is a way of stabilizing themselves some businessmen will tell you ah if you want to get into a, a country or a state and be comfortable find a woman there and you stay there and and marry 
and marry her there so that every time you're in that state or that country you have a woman to take care of you that is abnormal you know is that is that becomes perversion when you become a polygamist you just marry here and there you change them that is a form of uh, perversion then prostitution because prostitution is not the normal way of making money or having your sexual phone when you are more drawn to post to, to being a prostitute then there is a problem prostitution is a form of perversion some people they don't even prostitute just for the money no some it is just for the fun of it they just enjoy it they just enjoy changing them you know and so it becomes a problem or when you're a gigolo when i mean gigolo you're a man you just take you take joy in going out with older women you know to have sex with them and all that if you're joining me i'm pastor lucy and i have been doing a teaching on perversion i have talked about some of those things that will make you know if you are perverted or there is someone with that tendency around you and then um, i want to take out this time to invite you to our, our upcoming day of recovery is on june 14th at the airport hotel ikeja june 14th for more information you can call any on any of the numbers on the screen and you get more information whatever issue challenges or whatever that you may have god is able to meet you at the very point of your need so i want you to take out this time and attend our day of recovery join us in any of our services today number 11 awori street ilekwa alaji bus stop or number 133 awolo Way, ikeja i look forward to seeing you make time for your deliverance the lord bless you second samuel chapter 3 verse 29 let it rest on the head of joab and on all his father's house and let there not fill from the house of joab one that hath an issue or that is a leper or that leaneth on a staff or that falleth on the sword or that lacketh bread all because of the sins of one man here comes another time to experience total recovery as sovereign words church presents day of recovery theme oh god by your mercies intervene dates june 14 2015 at onomino hall airport hotel ikeja starting by 4 p.m ministering dr antonio oko the apostle of recovery most afflictions of life from blindness sickness name it they are acts of judgment on the sins of the past when mercy shows up grace is released and i trust god as you come all kinds of miracles will be released into your life for inquiries or seat reservations, call 0809-444-5025. Be part of it as mercy suspends judgments.